Now let me remind you again about the meaning of 10 meter per second square or 10 meter per second per second. If we drop an object in every second, it will gain more speed 10 meter per second. For example, if we drop a ball, the initial speed is zero and after one second, the speed will be 10 meter per second. Then, after 2 seconds, the speed will be 20 meter per second. After 3 seconds, the speed will be 30 meter per second. And at 5 seconds, the speed will be 50 meter per second, and so on. Here we see a free falling object. As you already knew that the initial speed here is 0 meter per second and at 1 second the speed here will be 10 meter per second and then after 2 seconds the speed will be 20 meter per second and then after 3 seconds it will be 30 meter per second so, if the motion is accelerated by the gravity and it's 10 meter per second square, meaning that every second the speed will increase 10 meter per second. Here again, in general, if we drop an object, the initial speed is 0 meter per second and if it moves for t second the speed here will be the acceleration of gravity g times t provided that the value of the gravity acceleration g here is 10 meter per second square so if we plot the speed versus time for the free falling object we would get for example this is at t is equal to 0 or at the beginning and then at t is equal to 1 the speed is 10 and then at t is equal to 2 is 20 and 30 and so on so if we connect these points, we'll get a straight line, as you have probably predicted. Now, I'm going to discuss the distance traveled by the free-falling object. As you saw in the motion with constant acceleration before, that the distance traveled by the accelerated object will be different in each second. Here, we also have the same observation where in the free-falling object, the object which moves under the gravitational acceleration will travel at different distance every second. And as you see here, that the distance will be farther each second. Now let's find the distance traveled by the free falling object. As you already know that at the beginning or t is equal to zero, the initial speed here is zero meter per second. And after one second, it will travel 5 meters. So how do we get this 5 meters? Well, it's simply 0 times 1 plus 10 times 1 divided by 2. Or you already did this before in the previous topic. It's a motion with constant acceleration. So now from 1 second to 2 second, the distance travel here will be 15 meters 
and then from two to three second the distance travel here will be 25 meters so in general if you drop an object which has initial speed 0 meter per second and it moves t second so after t second it gets the speed g times t as you saw before the distance travel here will be g times t as the uh, final speed times the time t divided by 2 or we get 1 half times g times t square so that if we plot the distance versus time for the uh, free falling object here from the beginning t is equal to 0 until 1 second the distance travel is 5 meter this is 5 and then from 0 until 2 second the total distance here is 20 this is at 2 is equal to 2 and then from the beginning until 3 second the total distance here is 45 and this is 45 so if we connect these points here we'll get the uh, parabolic curve 